This session will address the production scheduler solution that will replace our existing iLog Gantt. In the production scheduler module, there are four main functions. Production scheduler, which allows full access to the production plan and scheduler. And production scheduler viewer, which is only used to view the plan with no changes allowed. Access to these two functions depends on the user's privileges and customer license. The third function, Submit for Scheduling, transfers the work orders selected to the production scheduler. We can submit three different types of work orders. The suggested work orders generated by MRP, planned work orders, and the firm work orders. The last main function is Remove from Scheduling. Here you can remove the selected work orders from the production scheduler. Once removed from the scheduler, these work orders can be modified in Sage X3. In addition to these functions, new actions are available from the work order function itself. In the right panel, you will find two extra action buttons. The button Remove from Scheduling is active if the work order is already submitted in the production scheduler. This action allows to remove the work order from the production scheduler. At this moment, the button Submit for Scheduling becomes active again to be able to submit the work order again. Once the work order is removed from the production scheduler, we can modify the information in it, such as the release quantity. or the start and end dates. Once you have saved your modifications, you can resubmit them to the production scheduler. Note that when a work order is submitted to the production scheduler, you will see its scheduling status as being optimized. At this point, Modifications to the work order are prohibited, as indicated with the icon of the pen with a cross through it. To demonstrate how to manually submit a work order for scheduling, I'll first change the entry transaction because the current one is set with an automatic submission. We create the new work order that we'll later submit for scheduling. Let's go ahead and create the new work order. As usual, we will enter the production site and select the released product. The quantity to manufacture, the scheduling mode, either backward or forward, and the start date of the new work order we want to plan. Now we can create the work order. On the new work order, we can see that the Submit for Scheduling button is active as soon as the work order is scheduled in Sage X3. This allows us to manually send the work order in the plan to optimize it. Now we can submit the work order directly from the work order function. The work order status has been modified to being optimized and the modifications are forbidden.